<laughs> Once again, on the wheels of steel, I have my man Ron in the engineering. I have the one and only impeccably dressed Reggie. Hi, Reggie. Hey, what's up? Hi, everybody. On the count of three. Dun, 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 dun. It's Ron's birthday. It's Ron's birthday. It's Ron's birthday. Happy birthday, birthday. birthday. Yeah. home yeah. skillet. What's up, baby? Yeah. yeah. And uh, Laron, uh, as a as a present for him, uh, we're giving his team a new quarterback named Dak Prescott. Uh huh. Because uh, Tony Romo had decided he wanted to boycott Ron's birthday, and Coach Tanya, as soon as I said a new quarterback, Coach Tanya scratched his head. But it's okay. Because he's gonna get a raise because of my birthday night. Oh no, he's a brother. I hope he yes. give everybody. I'm sorry, y'all. In case y'all don't know this, for those of you tuning in for the first time, I just want you to know that I'm a very strong advocate of black folks. Yes, sir, you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we love that. And that does not mean that I am not a strong advocate of all folks, because anybody who's done anything with me for a period of time will know I love everybody. It has nothing to do with it. What I'm looking for is an equity opportunity and a level playing field. And I'm asking for a whole lot because we neither had equity <laughs> nor a local playing field, but I'm working on it. Uh, Coach Tony, yes. you have some, uh, in my, uh, uh, Laurent, I call him an archaeologist. I had a original archaeologist, and unfortunately I lost it. Uh, so she's my new archaeologist. She just dig up dirt, stuff like that on people. <laughs> so what'd you find out about my man? I love playing with this ball. <laughs> what'd you find out about my man, Laurent? <laughs> Um, Tanya, what's that damn fun? Oh, no, I, I did one of your numbers. I know, you can <laughs> Let me get my hands off the ball. <laughs> so, you a cancer, so I know how you want to run. Coach Tanya's a cancer like me, so we have a tendency to just bend the truth a little bit. <laughs> All right, Coach Tanya, what'd you find out about my man? I actually had a very good conversation with Ron um, today. It was very, very interesting to find out done and what he's doing currently. Um, he played guitar with Chuck Brown on the West End Music album. Cool. He has C three CDs out and he owns an electronic and music store in Calvary Heights. And he sells instruments and tons of instruments and different things, equipment for different um, DJs and things like that. And rents instruments to schools. Oh, cool. Too bad I didn't meet him like a couple weeks ago because I rented an instrument for my son for school. Right, right, right. I could have got it there a little bit cheaper. I'm sure. It's so yeah. even cheaper. I'll come to your house and I'll take his and then you rent it out. No, because if you mess with it, then I've got to pay for that. I'm just saying, I'm reimbursing. I'm reimbursing. What kind of thing? What kind of thing? I don't know. Do you know I don't want to turn down? I can only turn up. Baby, I can only turn up. Turn up, baby. Turn up. Is this you? That's good. That's good. Because y'all was like screaming in my ears. I'm so much in your brain. Like mash in your brain like silly buddy. I was going to take the headphones off. Yes, he's doing the percussions. So he has a snare drum. Oh, so that's why you're brain. They call it the bells, but it's a zyphon. So, that, so that's why your mind, that's why no, your mind is. Actually, he hasn't started practicing it yet when I'm at home, so mm, I don't you, know how that's going to be. If I go there, if I go there, I'll have to play with it. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron, man, how complicated is it, is it LeBron, to put yourself in a position to rent instruments to school age oh, children? Okay. That has to be political. Yes, you know, it's, uh, and right now, I'm in the, almost in the middle of the season because you know school just started and I have been doing the rental uh, aspect of the business I guess about, about four years mm -hmm. and it took me a while to get in there because you know the big boys didn't want the little guy coming in and really mess with and go along with them mm -hmm. but I've been doing that and it has been, it, it has been a wonderful experience you know we went in alto saxophones, trumpets, clarinets, you know flutes, violins and to see to be able to put that first instrument in a child's hands, you know what I mean? Oh man, I mean, it's just a wonderful experience because I knew how it was when I first got my first guitar at eight years old, you know? So, uh, you know, just to see the joy in their eyes and, uh, you know, and it's just amazing and we need to keep that in our schools. Not only that, but being an African-American business owner, you know, uh, you know it, that has also been rewarding because I've been in business for 26 years. 
And you know, now we are starting to patronize ourselves more. Mm -hmm. And that's a wonderful thing that I see happening amongst us because where you spend your dollar is where you give your power. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. And uh, we have been giving our power to everybody except for ourselves. You know? We make a trillion, we spend a trillion dollars a year. And for Trump to say that, you know, uh, about us being in poverty, and we're making a trillion yeah, so dollars. You see what I'm saying? Is so this something you're impoverished or yeah. back ass woods and all that? Yeah. So what do you got to do? Schools are no good. Yeah, yeah. Schools are no so good. They're yeah. shooting each other. Right. What you got to yeah. lose? Yeah. But we're going to change. Gonna we're going to change that. Yeah. We're going to change that. Mm -hmm. You see? So, uh, and that's one of the things that I'm attempting to do with, with my business. Uh, generate some opportunities for some young people, you know, and sometimes, in, you know, in the first part of the summer, when kids get out of school, I get many children, kids that come to my business wanting jobs. So anyone out, anybody out there in the political arena, you know, if you can help us to create some, some give, give us some finances so we can help some of these kids, you know, in our communities, please give me a call. But that's one of the things that we do there, and I'm so excited about doing that. You know, that has always been a goal of mine. Awesome. So what we're doing now is I am I am seriously dealing with some folks now for a sponsorship for anything and uh, you know for the time. I mean this is now becoming part of my uh, my daily activity in terms of being able to do things like collaborate with programs such as yours. I think it's a perfect fit uh, for what we do. One, yeah. have the announcers engaged. Two, being that's right. Extend our relationship with you. And it's great you said about sponsors. We are looking for some sponsors mm -hmm. now because this is a rent uh, program that we have. Mm -hmm. And all of the parents, they just can't afford the rent. That's mm -hmm. true. That. So if we have some businesses that will step forward and maybe, you know, rent a district for a child for a year, you know, mm -hmm. that would be very beneficial. You know, I'm going to say something. And who is it that's over? Oh, oh, my mother. That's, that's the other show, Reggie. Her daughter's of mine. She'd be all over. I would say, Coach Tony, right off the bat, now, I'm going to go controversial, so if you, you do that. <laughs> right off the break, I would say that the black churches should be able to spend almost a million dollars a year collectively just in the D.C. area, helping to rent and purchase instruments and provide training uh, classes for youngsters in the D.C. area alone, mm -hmm. where you wouldn't have to depend on the system that you're using right now, where someone should be able to bring food right out of your church. Am I, am I walking up the wrong tree? No. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're not. It's a good idea. See, the church is one thing, and it's really disturbing me more, because one of those places where we spend our dollar, mm -hmm. and we really don't get the kind of power no, you spend our dollars. You spend the dollars where you get your power. Where you get your power. Where you give your power. Right. We give our power to the churches with our dollars. And lately, I've just been watching some things that just doesn't seem to come back the way that I think it should. Is it just me? Well, I think one of the things that we need to do uh, as people is first of all create businesses so that we have the opportunity to buy from each other. You, know, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think most people are able to establish businesses. Uh, right now, we just don't know where to put up. We, we don't have the opportunity to spend with ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so I think that once we establish that, and those of us who are in business, we need to do a better job at marketing to ourselves to let us know, that, hey man, I'm in business over here. Yeah. Know? And then also with that, those that come to our business, mm -hmm have to
So that that's another thing that has to be looked at as well. When you're trying to market your business and you're trying to get out there, you have to support them for what they are and where they're at. Right, right, yeah. Because I have an issue sometimes because you know if I buy, say if I buy some uh, some merchandise from my from my store, mm -hmm. uh, say I pay a hundred dollars for it, okay, uh, and the big boys, as you say. They can get that certain mer same merchandise for fifty dollars because they buy a lot of quantity. Mm -hmm. You see, so for me to sell my merchandise at the same uh, price as they sell theirs, it's almost impossible. It's almost exactly. impossible. Right. But 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 still, you know, we may want to break from me. You right. follow me, and mm -hmm. that's what makes it kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah, but we need to pay attention to that. Yeah. Okay, point. You know, the funny thing about it, when I think of business and I think of us, I think of business as being something that is the lifeblood of any community um, because it provides the exchange of resources, goods and services that it keeps life going. You know, that's the economy, the economy is we recycling dollars and bring back and forth for exactly. the team. It's the move for whatever reason. Um, you know, business and doing business with each other seems optional. Where it really is something that should be demanded of the And in addition to that, you know, and I understand the good government job when we run, you know, I understand that that's important um, for you know the household to have the security and have the opportunity to, uh, to 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 grow however it does. But but it's also just as important that uh, that we take some of our talents and skills. And use it in an entrepreneurial way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because one never knows when the systems that we work for are going to be tired of living on us. And the other part about it is you can't really, <coughs> in order to move capital, to be able to do the kind of thing that we want to from, you have to be able to move capital. Mm -hmm. Now, my friend, you, uh, you're in the entertainment business as well. Yes. Um, I'm going to get in your business and I'm going to ask you, how do you model? that which you do um, in terms of your business enterprise, how do you create opportunities for yourself and how do you use your business model now and then you feel good? I'm glad you brought that up. Um, oh, I can put in a stupid plug. Mm -hmm. um, tonight, it's not stupid. <laughs> tonight I'll be on an episode of uh, TV1's hit crime series called For My Man. Okay. It's at 10 o'clock on TV1. I am the role of a detective, so please tune in. Now, as for me, uh, I am my own agent. So I go out and get my own work. And what I try to do, once I actually secure a job and I find that there may be some other open slots for other background actors, I try to bring them with me. Um, I give you an example, a young lady who I know, a comedian, and I was on set for this commercial and they were looking for more people. And I was like, I have some friends, I'm gonna invite them. I invited them, at least three of them came. They came to the shoot, they got paid. And from that, they've established a relationship with that particular casting company. And I know in the future, the casting company will be calling them direct because they got the job through me. Always trying to you know, spread the uh, work around. I have some friends that particularly don't like doing that. They're trying to keep all the work to themselves. I'm not that kind of person. If there's some openings. I can bring some people along. I try to do that. Laurent, I'm going to grab your CD. I'm going to stick it in this machine so I can take my break. You jam! You jam! I need to open it. Oh, it's an unopened version? Yeah. No, open it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Super. I have more. You, you were sitting on the beach somewhere in Florida and it came to you to write a book. Well, actually it came to you before to write a book, but you were trying to figure out the name of the book. It came to you on the beach somewhere in Florida, Texas, Mexico, I can't remember what it told me. And it hit you and you're like, hmm, how am I tell? So let me tell you, if you would hold up the, the book itself so that the people can see it. And it's a very, very attractive cover and title. What does it mean? Okay, uh, let me let you know how, how I, okay. I was in Florida uh, a few years ago, and I was just thinking to myself, you know, what, what, what tool can I use to, uh, to help myself stay on the path of, 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 you know, of 
and just doing the things that I need to do to uplift myself. What can I? What can I do? What can I think? What can I? See? You know, what can I do? Uh, and the idea that, that, that just came in my mind: use Teddy. Ooh, Teddy. And I thought, I said, Teddy, what, what's Teddy? And Teddy is an acronym. Okay, an acronym, like a teddy bear. Well, acronym T stands for thinking. How am I thinking? Thoughts are very, very powerful. So, you know, uh, when you use your thoughts, there's only two emotions, fear and love. So your thoughts are somewhere in between fear and love. So, you know, when you think about what you're thinking about, that creates your situation. So, when you're able to control your thoughts, your thinking, then you can control your life. So I talk about the benefits of thinking as a person, as a person thinking, you know, so easy. So we talk about that in the book. Man, that's awesome. I'm a natural aphrodisiac, so I always think love. You always think love? Yeah. Well, a lot of us don't, and I didn't either for, for a long time. You know, because the mind, some, you, oh. you, you can't let the mind lead you. Okay. You have to lead the mind. Mm -hmm. uh, and let not your heart be troubled. See, don't let Saint John 14. Is that what it is? Okay. You have to trouble. So therefore, don't think about things that will cause you to have trouble. So I talk about you know the thought in the book. Okay, the next letter is E. E for eating. I wasn't eating properly. I wasn't I just I just wasn't nourishing my body. And uh, I, I, I got to, and when I found out the different foods that I should be eating, that change has changed my life. So your food is your medicine, but your food can also be your enemy. So pay attention to the food that you're putting in this castle. Definitely pay attention to that. So, uh, and I talk about that in the book. 